Palestinian teen dies after being beaten by Israeli soldiers. Here's a summary of the article. The Palestinian Health Ministry said that Aimer Abed al Rahim Snowbar arrived at the hospital after being severely beaten on the neck. Ahmed al Bitawi, director of the Palestine Medical Complex, confirmed to Palestinian news outlets on Sunday morning that Snowbar died as a result of injuries sustained from an attack by Israeli forces. There were visible signs of beatings on Snobber's neck, Bitawi said. The medical center reported that the injuries to Snobber's neck were consistent with being beaten with the butts of Israeli soldiers' rifles. Snowbar hailed from the village of Yatma, south of the occupied West Bank city of Nablus. Members of a medical NGO team told local Palestinian news outlets they tried to perform cardiac resuscitation on Snowbar before transferring him to the medical center. In a statement, the leftist Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine said Snobber's murder will be a curse that will continue to haunt Arab traitors in reference to the recent normalization deals by the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and Sudan. This post received a score of 13,000, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Lost consciousness and hit his head. Yeah right. The bruises and injuries go with rifle butts. Lost consciousness, because they were beating him. Shit like how they phrase this is like throwing someone off a bridge then describing it as, they fell. Teen dies from water impact related injuries after soldier involved incident on bridge. This literally happened a few days ago in Chile after a cop shoved a protester out of a bridge. The official statement was, he fell. There was even a video of them pushing the teen, but when have facts ever contradicted police statements? Not just pushing. Lifting him off his feet and tossing him over the railing. I dislike everything about this conflict. So do most Israelis and most Palestinians. Some Israelis see it as a righteous conquest. Some Palestinians see Israel as something that needs to be eradicated. You downvote a lot. S point still stands. Looks like one party is crushing the other with the approval of the world. Israel is condemned at the UN more than all other countries combined. The world doesn't approve. It's actually worse, the world doesn't give a shit, but keeps pretending it doesn't encouraging the Palestinians to fight a hopeless war in hope that allies come to their help. The Arab countries, which have long been part of this boycott, about Israel have been making deals with Israel for decades now, and only recently has the mask been falling off with UAE and Bahrain openly normalizing relations with Israel. More will soon follow, and people will finally realize that injustice does not matter to world leaders. Arab countries don't give a flying fuck about the Palestinians. Honestly most Jewish people around the world care more about their faith than Arab countries do. Most of us support a two-state solution, but it's the Israeli government, the Palestinian leaders and Hamas that don't. Oh a lot of the population does, which is largely the only reason more countries haven't just dropped the charade and normalized things with Israel now that everyone is starting to hate Iran more. Saudi Arabia for example could face insurrections if they did. But I've long accepted that this is a doomed conflict for Palestine. I suspect that if a two-state solution isn't reached, nothing will change or they'll flat out stop existing within the next couple decades. There has now been another version that has popped up. Settlers and IDF soldiers are not mutually exclusive categories. They are in this case. No one reports attacks by uniformed soldiers as attacks by settlers. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.